my good friends. She's a talented actor, comedian, writer, one of the least liked members of our Mommy and Me group. Welcome to the stage, Allie Markwich! <laughs> Right. Yeah. That's right. Nobody's got to go to work tomorrow. Yeah. Mm, he kinda, he's like, oh, I kind of should be going to work tomorrow. When I was a little girl, I always wanted to be in a beauty pageant. But I couldn't on account of my mullet. Uh, I don't know if you know what a mullet is, but I'm going to break it down for you. So the front part of the mullet is the short part of the mullet. It's referred to as the business side. When people see it, they're like, oh my gosh, that guy, he's all business. <laughs> then he turns his head. <gasps> what just happened? Oh, there's a party back there. That's right, that's the party side. So when I was a little girl, the front side was real short and the party went way too long. <laughs> and on special occasions, my mom used to hairspray and tease the bangs. So I look like DJ Tanner from Full House. <laughs> does not make for a good pageant person. Um, I'm actually a mom, believe it or not, I'm a mom. Yes! To five beautiful children who all have mullets. Um, yes, I am a mom, five children. There are two different types of moms. There are Pinterest moms, and these moms think they gotta make everything from scratch. Listen, Linda, some of our ovens are broken. Okay? Even if I can use my oven to make a human, that's not something I necessarily would like to Pinterest fail at. No. I'm an Amazon Prime mom all day long. I adopted all my kids from foster care. Just add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Not fooling around. Why so many? There was a sale. <laughs> they came part of a matching set. And when I first met my youngest son, he goes, oh, Are you my new big sister? I'm your mommy. He was like, Oh boy, I don't get any say so in this, do I? Nope, you gotta go home with me. Sorry, kid. Uh, they're all older, so their ages are 10 to 14. And, uh,. Yeah, a lot of you are like, oh my god, you adopted serial killers. <laughs> so uh, I will break it down. So adopting five kids from foster care is kind of like you want to volunteer to rebuild a village after a natural disaster. You're like, oh, so ready for this. I prepare my whole life. I'm going to help rebuild this whole village. And then you open your, your box from FEMA, and all they give you is a pin that says FEMA on it <laughs> and a pair of double XL gloves. Oh, and all the villagers in the village think you're trying to kill them constantly. <laughs> they think that your hugs are chokeholds and your kisses are poisonous darts. But you can't really blame the village, can you? Because the last person who had the village burnt it to the ground. So any millennials? Yeah. Millennials, millennials, woo woo. I'm a millennial. You're a millennial? Elder. An elder millennial, so you're like 30, 35, uh, 35, I think that's the cutoff, right? 35? 32. 32 is the cutoff? Uh, well, I am. Anyway, so I'm a millennial. Woo! Yeah. One more time, I'm a millennial. Woo! Everyone kind of hates us, though. Like, we, we are just like, the target for all of this hatred cannot understand why. But I think I kind of get it. When we were kids, growing up, they took us aside and they're like, Hey there, Allie. When you grow up, you're going to change the world. You're going to change the world. You're going to change the world. We grow up and we're like, oh my God, we're so special. We're going to change the world. All the other generations are like, oh my gosh. Why do we still have global warming? You think all those episodes of Bill Nye the Science Guy were for entertainment purposes only? No. Captain Planet, he's our hero. You were supposed to bring pollution back to zero. <laughs> Just want to watch Netflix. With our powers combined, we create one Netflix account, people. <laughs> we don't pay for Netflix. That's someone else's account.
Uh, anyway, I'm single. I am divorced. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Two years, October 19th at noon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Being divorced is not a sad thing. People are like, oh my gosh. That's so sad you're divorced with five kids. And no, no. Think about it. You serve 10 years on a lifetime prison sentence. Are you thinking about being a prison wife right now? Ooh. You are, aren't you? It's scary. It's okay. It's just pretend. It's not real life. So if I feel like I got away with murder, I should get a teardrop. I would look so hard with the teardrop. I'm waiting for it. I got away with it. I think they should teach kids about divorce sooner. Bob, the marriage counselor, can he fix it? <laughs> Bob, the marriage counselor, no, he can't. <laughs> it's okay. My kids are like, you're going to die alone. We need you to start dating. So I did what any Amazon Prime mom would do. I just bought a husband. I just added him to cart. I got a life-size cardboard cut out of Bob Ross. I put it in the living room. <laughs> I make my kids call him their stepdaddy. We make love like everybody else. I gotta do most of the work. And it's my responsibility to get off on my own. Thank you guys, you've been great. Have a good night.